Good afternoon, welcome to my laboratory. This is a supplement. Um, I've been playing around with the Hall Effect Sensor Op Amp Switcher Pulsar, and I've uh, got the sensitivity adjusted. I had some, some stability issues, which I cured by putting some more capacitors in there. I put a tiny little ceramic capacitor across from the input, that is the output of the Hall sensor, to ground right at the op amp chip. And I put a 400 or a 47 microfarad capacitor across the power supply leads. And those have cured my stability issues. Before, uh, when I turned on my high voltage stuff like the tensile coil 8, the thing would behave a little bit differently. But now it's stable and doesn't respond to um, RF interference anymore. And I have it set so sensitively that it um, that it's now acting pretty much as a magnetic compass. It actually responds to the Earth's field, which biases a little bit. Uh, so right now I have the Hall sensor set up right there. And this is a centimeter ruler, and that red mark right there is 10 centimeters from the Hall sensor. And here I have the little uh, ceramic magnet. This is just a ferrite magnet. And I'm going to hold it right Right here, and I guess you can see that the red light is already coming on. And there's the green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. So it's switching reliably at a distance of over 10 centimeters, slightly over 10 centimeters. It's really working well now. That's almost 14 centimeters there. Of course, if you're closer, you get a better switching but it easily detects I can see changes in the light level of that red LED from almost 20 centimeters away you probably can't see that on the camera but at uh, 14 centimeters it's very clear and at 10 centimeters you get rock solid switching just from the field of this little ferrite magnet and it uh, it easily responds to the magnetic field of this screwdriver which is only slightly magnetized not quite strong enough to switch it way out here, but this little ferrite magnet certainly is. Alright, thank you for watching.